needs to make the sound like. Yeah! Oh, she's getting it! Today, I'm going to attempt to recreate sound from a few popular movie scenes. Now, I've always been fascinated with Foley because when it's done right, you have no idea that it's been done at all. I sat down with Foley artist Matt Davies with Studio Unknown to learn a little bit more about his tips and secrets when it comes to Foley work. A lot of people aren't aware of the fact that when you make a film, when you shoot the film, when you get the footage, these sounds don't come with the footage that you shoot, or it's very rare that they do. Quite often the goal is so focused on the dialogue that a lot of those extra sounds are lost in the process. Our goal is to be felt in the mix of a film, but not necessarily heard. It's a blessing and a curse because if we're doing our jobs properly, then the audience maybe should never know what's gone in. Even the most mundane sounds that you hear in films typically had to be added. Foley is so much of a marriage between those two sides where it's very physical and hands-on and you're creating with your hands for the sole purpose of making a sound. And so the, the thing that you're creating, whether it's assembling different things together, might not ever be seen by anybody. The answer isn't always using authentic props. It's often simple things that you need to do sounds for that require a little bit of head scratching to figure out. We can't always have the literal items, so what weird things do I need to slap together to just make this simple sound? We're going to use just a few everyday objects around the house and see what kind of sounds we can create. This is my sister. Hey. We're gonna try and do these Foley sounds together. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. This scene from Inglorious Bastards just absolutely epic. We could maybe toast some bread. Yes, 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 yes. We can try that. It's sad that we're not doing celery for broken bones because that's what I know about this. Can you just do that for fun? Yeah. I mean, you never know. Yeah, carrots, why not? Perfect. Okay. This is really hard because it's going really fast. And we have to be super quiet because the sound we're creating, we're going to try and put it in. So you're telling me I have to do this without laughing? Yes. They cut it, you'll be the person, you'll be the waiter. Okay, so you gotta get the sound where you like, mm -hmm. so maybe put some in the bowl. It needs to make the sound like, yeah, it's gonna be real quick. Okay. I'm gonna need to learn the timing of this plot. I think, I think we, I think we got it. I think we best, nailed it. As we could. Well, this movie, Castaway, is just perfect because it's just really all about putting you in a place. So he picks it up, sets it. So it's a very like, it's a light sound. There's a rock outside that I think that we should use as a coconut and drop it on this. Okay. For sand, we can no. use Litter box. <laughs> that was good. Thoughts? <laughs> that was really fun. That was really hard. Really hard. Really hard. I don't know how they get the timing down. One thing for me that's really fascinating about it is just the performative aspect of creating these sounds. Like you mm -hmm. definitely have to create, you your entire it. body has to get into it. It's a very fun thing about Foley that it, it, it's all around us, things like footsteps and very commonplace sounds. The joke is kind of like Foley is always like coconuts for horse hooves and celery for bones breaking. It also is so much more. It's, it's amazing seeing people discover Foley and just simply discover that it's a thing. You're, you're kind of honoring the physicality of anything that's on screen. Nobody may notice, but they're definitely gonna feel something.